Hey again, week one, day one, questions. Question number one, what is one type of tiny organism that calls your body home sweet home? Choose from A, mice, B, bacteria, C, cats, or D, eggs. You can find this answer in the wild and woolly section. Question number two, what does the author describe in this text? Is it A, the effects of microscopic organisms living on the body, B, the effects of certain diets on developing cancer, C, the effects of illness such as colds and the flu, or D, the effects of practicing bad hygiene? Choose the answer that you think best fits all of the text. Number three. Bacteria can be good for the body. Now, what evidence from the text supports that statement? Is it A, just as there are four major blood types, there are three or maybe more different gut types? Is it B, bacteria on your skin and inside your gut prevent other more harmful bacteria from moving in and making you sick? Is it C, some experts think that without worms to fight, our immune system has gotten confused and turned on our own bodies? Or is it D, many antibacterial soaps contain a compound that kills some bacteria, but not others? Which one best supports the statement, bacteria can be good for your body? Number four, based on the information in the text, what can you infer or decide about a person living with a parasite in his or her body? Is it A, a person can feel the parasite crawling on or in his or her body? B, a person may be infected with a parasite without even knowing it? C, a person will never be able to tell if he or she is infected with a parasite? Or D, a person will only know if he or she was infected with a parasite after the parasite is dead? And you can probably find that answer somewhere in the section Creepy Crawlies. Question number five. What is the main idea of this text? Is it A, rates of allergies and autoimmune diseases have skyrocketed? B, scientists believe there are three or more different gut types? C, our immune system has gotten confused and turned on our bodies? Or is it D, the human body is home to many tiny organisms? Question number six, read these sentences from the text. You've gotten to know just a handful of the thousands of species that live inside and on you. Are you freaked out yet? Don't be. What might the, why might the author have used the phrase freaked out? Do you think it was A, to frighten readers about the thousands of species living in your body? Do you think it was B, to comfort readers by using familiar and funny language? Do you think it was C, to make fun of readers who may be disgusted by bacteria? Or do you think it was D, to emphasize to readers how serious a topic this is? Number seven, choose the answer that best completes this sentence. For most of human history, people were home to all kinds of worms. Blank, worm infestations are relatively rare in the developed world today. Okay, in that blank, which word sounds the most correct? However, B, as a result, C, specifically, or D, consequently? That answer can be found in the, under the creepy crawly section. It won't be like the direct answer, but it'll kind of help you um, understand what words should be there. Question number eight. Bacteria form thick mats called biofilms along the walls of your intestines. What do biofilms help you do? Okay, go to the wild and woolly section and go down where it starts to talk about biofilms and reread that section and then tell me what you think the reading is telling you that biofilms do, okay? Question number eight. Nine, what is one example of an effect a parasite has on humans? And then they want you to support your answer with evidence from the text. What does the text tell you 
uh, an effect that a parasite can have on a human is. Um, go to the creepy crawly section and reread through there some of the parasites and that'll help you. Question 10. Contrast the effects bacteria have on the body to the effects the parasites have on the body and support your answer with evidence from the text. So there you're going to tell me what are some benefits from bacteria as opposed to what are some benefits from uh, parasites or some effects. Okay, What do parasites do to your body? What do bacteria do to your body? So you're going to go to the wild and woolly section and also the creepy crawly section to help get your information for that. All right. Now remember, if you have any questions uh, about any of these questions, shoot me a message to the Google Classroom and I will try and help you narrow down uh, where you can find your answer. All right. See you next time.